All right, Matt, looking forward to that. With that hard freeze coming and some snow the next couple of days, what does that mean for your plants? ABC 21's Vince Lovergene talked with experts at a local nursery to find out more. Ariel, with the below freezing temperatures and snow, it's not looking good for your plants right now. Joe Galbraith runs a lawn care business on Stellhorn Road. He tells me because we've already seen warmer temperatures, this hard freeze will be even more destructive. He says when colder temperatures, even with snow, plants can acclimate to the conditions and not see a lot of damage. Galbraith says with the long duration of these freezing temperatures, you'll have to make some sacrifices. Snowfalls this time of year are always wet and heavy. Um, if you have tender plants that are covered, that snow is going to stick to those coverings and provide pressure, down, downward pressure, and will break branches and things like that. There's plants that are blooming right now that shouldn't be blooming for another two or three weeks. And those plants are going to get damaged by it. So how can, how can you prevent your plants from dying? Galbraith says to help prevent them from seeing a lot of damage, cover the plants with a blanket or any type of woven material. The idea of this is to trap warm air from coming up from the ground and keep it above freezing. Don't use plastic materials because that can cause even more damage. Galbraith says he's used to these type of freezes. He says the amount of damage may vary from plant to plant. Flowers, fruit trees, and vegetables will see the most damage.